Kara Shalom. Welcome to our watercolor journey. Loosen up a little with this spontaneous landscape. The materials used are listed in the description below. On the palette, we have dioxazine violet, tundra green, tundra orange, and Payne's gray blue. The Canson is taped to a flat board and he uses the Princeton one inch mop to wet the entire paper. The background here will be done entirely wet on wet. Heinrich uses the Holbein Black Resable number 12 round and starts dabbing in the three pigments, dioxazine violet first and then drops of tundra green, but you can use any green and then tundra orange. You can also use burnt sienna. The dioxazine violet spreads like a wildfire and it draws the other pigments with it. The spread is almost even all round because the paper is flat on the table. This type of spontaneous painting is so unpredictable but very satisfying. You can drop the paints anywhere you want and then see what the watercolors give you. To get some variation in the texture, he splatters a few drops of the violet onto the wet paper. The paper is starting to dry so he sprays it gently with a spray bottle and then tilts it to help the paint flow. Tundra green tends to stay put but the other colors flow quite nicely. Add a few granules of salt to add texture and then let the painting dry. The salt creates marvelous shapes that give a unique pattern to the landscape. Now to decide what to do with this. When you have a background like this, stand away from it for a moment and look at what kind of picture it gives you. Where can you add trees or rocks or maybe even a waterfall? Heinrich opted for pine trees in the various colors from his palette and he makes use of the patterns that the salt has created. He's using the silver ruby satin triangle brush to paint the trees.
It is important that you step away from the picture every now and then to help you with the details. The light and dark areas created by the salt will guide you. Enhance the darker areas around the lighter salt patches to create your rocks and terrain. He uses the corner of a store cart to etch in some lines for the grasses and reeds.
He signed the painting, but when he looked at it later, he found that the trees in the background have faded away too much, so he decided to add a few marks to let them stand out more. And then he used white gouache to add a few highlights. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments if you have done any of these spontaneous kinds of paintings and what you think of them. You are welcome to share your paintings with us on Instagram. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon. Vaya con Dios.